For KSI, let's start with you, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Off of a two fights, one night, complete domination mm -hmm. in X Series number one. Now you put the promoter's hat on. Yeah. And uh, or I the, put the glasses on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, obviously, uh, shout out to Pineda. This is in his honor. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, I thought I have a different look. Yeah. For uh, for the pro uh, promotion side of things, but yeah, I'm excited for uh, Misfits version two. Uh, we've got a huge card, big fights. Got some uh, regulars and then some new people coming back. And uh, yeah, no, it's exciting, and uh, I think it's going to be a great. Uh, great event. Talk to me about uh, some of your favorite fights here tonight. Mm. Uh, for me, it's got to be uh, Ryan Taylor and uh, and uh, Slim. That's cool. yeah, yeah. Now, why would you say that? What's <laughs> what's bro? So you're so gassed that I didn't even mention your name, man. <laughs> He's such a big, such a big. Give me attention! Give me attention! <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, obviously, right. between them, I know there's obviously previous beef uh, beforehand. And uh, obviously, Slim has shown that he is that guy knocking out temper. And uh, yeah, Abu Faze. <laughs> Abu Faze. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, um, that's going to be a huge fight. Obviously, it's good to see Joel back in the ring as well, JMX. Uh, I know he's going to do bits. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's good to see DTG as well. Uh, he looked very fast in the uh, workout. And uh, yeah, hello, Ham. I, I imagine, I mean, you're always doing what you do. <laughs> no offense, <laughs> but it'll be a good fight anyway. And uh, yeah, obviously, Jay Swingler, the main guy, uh, the main event. And uh, obviously, yes, he lost to Gib, but he's come back oh, with man. a vengeance. <laughs> no, no, but it's, we got to be real. You lost to Gib, but you, you've come back with a vengeance, and you want to show everyone that you're on the same level as these guys. As the Slims, as the Gibbs, as uh, Salt Pappy, etc. So, yeah, and then uh, Chudley is the man with his double glasses to. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> we got one for looks and one for looking. Yes. So, yeah, I'm excited for this uh, whole event. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Callie, I want to go to you really quick. Um, what does it mean to not only put on this second event, but to do it here in Sheffield? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, for, no, first of all, we come from this huge premiere in London at the O2. Um, you know, we wanted to make a statement. Um, it wasn't a one-off event. It wasn't, hey, Misfits is here today and gone tomorrow, and it's just for JJ to do a couple of fights in one night, break history, and, you know, get into the history books. No, it's about a series. We're out with a massive card. Mams has done a fantastic uh, job on it, top to bottom. Personally, I'm loving that we got our first female fight on. Fantastic. Um, that's great. But the card has got so many storylines to it. I think the two gentlemen to my left are better equipped to go through those storylines. But from a voyage, we go from here. Great event in Sheffield. We go to Austin, Texas, November 17th next month with a blockbuster, Vitor Belfort against Hazim Rahman Jr. And guess what? The show goes on from there. We're already just about on the cusp of announcing a massive 004 for January. Keep your eyes peeled. It's going to be bigger than anything in this space before. And I mean anything. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to Sheffield, but it's just part of the ride. And I, for one, you know, boxing's a lovely place to be, but this space makes is so much fun. The, the, the levels of excitement around it, the fresh faces, the people who want to be here, want to be doing this. I'm just blessed. Thank you. Let's now go to the third member. I would call him the Wrangler because he's rocking the cowboy hat today no of this card. Man, Sailor, talk to me about the importance of not only the, the people on this card, but making sure each Misfits event has been just blockbuster. Well, um, I think every card is important, every match is important, because this is the space where we want to cultivate storylines and characters, where you guys become more invested in, in some of these guys from the smaller, uh, more le sort of, less well-known people to the most well-known people and that way you know this thing keeps going and you guys you guys keep demanding it and we'll keep supplying it for you so 
these cards are all so important because it sets up the future. Who's going to, you know, who's going to fight the best of the best? Who's going to fight this guy and that guy? So we just carry on cultivating these storylines, and I think, I think that's the importance of the consistency and the continuity of these things.